particularly true in the South West, and one of the things I've been doing as a South West MEP is endlessly complaining about the government's attacks on the renewable sector, because it really hurts jobs and skilled jobs in the parts of the country that I represent. I commissioned another report called The Power to Transform, which showed that we could actually easily provide for 100% of our electricity from renewables, and that that process would create 122,000 jobs and add four billion a year to the southwest economy. So the thing about renewables is they are labour intensive in terms of en energy production compared to, say, Hinkley, which I strenuously oppose. Right, so now we're going to have a look at, oh, I think we've got to go up two, actually. Have a look at Ross side. No, no, it must be the next one. So, it doesn't matter. I just thought it was more interesting to look the at the pictures. So it's that one there as well, the previous one, number five. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so perhaps of particular interest in the case of Devonport in this context is Rosyth's structure. Uh, sorry, Rosyth's success in securing the contract to supply the first order for the jacket support structure and topside platform for the Rampion Wind Farms offshore substation off the Sussex <coughs> coast. This is due to be completed by the end of 2016 and Babcock, the same people who run the Devonport Dockyard, are involved there. So they've got experience in this kind of area, and it's not something that's outside their knowledge base at all. And like Devonport, Rosyth is a naval base, and it will be likely to be decommissioning nuclear submarines, but, and we can already see the value there in diversifying away from Trident. And another example which could be followed at Devonport is what's happening in, in Hull, where the German Corporation Siemens is operating a blade manufacturing plant as part of a project called Green Port Hull. And this, they've invested 160 million, but there's also considerable public support for that development in that region. And so one of the things I'm arguing is please start to see the South West as, as an industrial region and not just think of it as the Northern Powerhouse, which is something we very much resent in the South West. Poldark has actually done us some favors here because people realize, oh, there did used to be industry in the South West. <laughs> But uh, anyway, we do need to, to sort of stop people thinking of it as a place that is just where they go for their holidays. So um, the last picture is the Plymouth Sandyard. Yeah, there it is. So it's already undergoing a conversion process. And one of the points that's made in the report is that we need to make sure that the conversion goes in a socially useful direction. Um, there's been a lot of development um, in this area, money from the city deal, with the government paying for general site retasking and new office space with revenues recycled to areas including Dockside. Again, it's, it's at some risk of going down the sort of shops and cafes and restaurants route, whereas we be much, you know, we really are encouraging to, to have manufacturing of socially useful wind turbines to develop those renewable energy resources. So I think these are the main points that we're, that we're making in terms of the report. We've got fantastic natural resources in the southwest. I mean, the reason those rain hats are called southwesters is that's where our weather comes from. It means we've got wind there. We've actually got the best solar incidence on the surface of the earth to generate electricity anywhere in the world, they tell me in Cornwall. And so we've got great, also uh, geothermal, also marine and tidal energy. There's expertise in all those renewables, but at the moment, if they're funded with public money at all, it's European money, and the whole project is under risk because this government is, is basically funding oil and gas and increasing subsidies to oil and gas uniquely, and deciding that the, the, best, the most important way to spend public money is for a weapon system that's never going to be used. So clearly, these things are not being driven by social priorities, they're being driven by vested interests. And, um, you know, we're very keen to shift the debate around that and to be able to say that there's much more potential for more jobs higher quality jobs, better paid jobs in the renewables industry, and that's the proposal for, from the report for the conversion of the Devonport Dockyard. Thank you. Thank you very much.